one. Let me know if everybody can hear me. Let me know if you can see the slide. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Chilly day here in New York. Getting ready for another big snowstorm here in Manhattan. Tomorrow, Thursday into Friday. Gonna be a big one. So, we are gonna talk about trading. We're gonna talk about gaps. We're gonna talk about making money. What else is there to do in a snowy, cold winter day? <laughs> Beautiful picture of New York. From up high, <laughs> where I see the city, it looks normal. It looks like it always does. When you get down in the ground, it's very, very different. <laughs> so it's nice to look at it from far away and high up because it looks like the same old New York I've always known, but things are much, much different here nowadays, 2021. So let's get started, everyone. Welcome, my name is Melissa Armo and I own the Stock Swoosh, and we're gonna talk about trading and how you can earn $1,000 a day, trading only half hour a day. So I open the trading room in the morning at 8.30. We don't start trading until 9.30 when the market opens. I prep for about an hour, an hour and a half before I figure out what stocks I wanna trade. So my prep work is the pre-market, and then the time that I spend trading is only about a half an hour. Sometimes I'll, I'll be in something an hour, but I really am sometimes only in something for five, 10 minutes. So most days I figure, you know what? The more I prep, the less time I have to be in the trade because I, I'm looking for really any stock that I can do and trade where I can get in and out quick. I'm looking for the fast move, the quick move, the sharp move, okay? So that's really my goal every single day that I trade. So, if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And Kathy, I'll put the information in the room. I'm doing an open house for the trading room Thursday and Friday. Today's Wednesday, so Thursday and Friday, the next two days. If you'd like an open house, you can come to the trading room and we'll see what we get. I never know what I'm gonna trade until I get up in the morning and rate the gaps, okay? Now, I occasionally also appear on television, on CBS, Fox News, Ameritrade has a channel, I was on there recently, and I talk about markets. Now, some of you here are, you know, are in the US, some of you are not in the US. It really doesn't matter where you live though. I think the important thing to know is you can live anywhere in the world and trade. It depends where you are as far as your time zone, because again, I'm focusing on the morning, 9.30, 10 a.m., I'm focusing on the open. When I'm talking about a half an hour, I'm talking about that period, boom, right in the morning, okay? That's when you gotta be able to trade. And so if you're in Europe, you know, if you're in England, you have to time that out with your schedule to see, oh, can you train? I think England's five hours, five hours uh, ahead of us. So you have to schedule, can I actually be in Melissa's trading room during that period of time? Because that's when you wanna take the trades. Okay, and consequently, you could be on the West Coast. You could be in California, in which case then it would be 6.30 in the morning when we open at 9.30, okay? So you have to be able to look at it and say, do I have the time to do this? 2021 really has started out to be a good year for us. It's been an active year. I've uh, been looking for good gaps. I trade gaps, I'm gonna explain what that is in a minute, and you know, like I said earlier, New York City where I live is not the same. Uh, many, many things are still closed. The city is pretty much still almost shut down. And so I'm spending a lot of time training. And so I like to be productive and I'm an active person. So I'm trying to take advantage of the time inside and focus on what I'm doing, get better at my own personal trading and obviously trade as well and help clients too. So if you've been thinking about doing this, it's a good time to, to join me because I've been taking a lot of time helping to personally mentor people as well this year. Um, and I mean, last year too, in 2020, because I've been home a lot. So this is year today, doesn't include yesterday or today. Actually, we didn't do any trades today. There wasn't any good gaps today. Um, but we did Twitter yesterday. I don't have that on here, but this is the results through Friday. So this is an advanced trader risk. What do I mean? 
$2,500 per trade minimum of the risk that you would need to risk to have these results. So we're six weeks into the year, 2021, really good results so far this year. So my win ratio average, again, when you have a system, you have to look for a high win ratio. What does that mean? It means you have to have more winners than losers. Otherwise, you're not gonna make any money. So I'm running anywhere between any given week or month between 65 and 75% on my options newsletter and the day trades. Again, it depends if we're having a good week um, and how many trades we're doing. Typically, I like to do one trade a day, but you know, sometimes I'll do more than one trade a day. And again, like I said, you're welcome to come to the trading room tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna get, but we'll see. Right now, it is still earnings season. <laughs> so earnings season is a good time to trade because there are a lot of gaps in earnings season. And again, if you don't know what a gap is, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it here in a minute. Any questions here so far? If you have questions, you can just plop it in the room. I can see everybody's questions. I'm the only person who can see everybody's questions. <clears throat> just so you know. Anyways, how much time does it take to trade each day? Well, if you want to trade all day, you can. I don't like to do that. Even though I'm home, I don't like to do that. Why? I think it's very stressful. I think it's stressful to have to sit at a computer all day. And one of the benefits of trading gaps, okay, which is what I do, is that you can trade the morning and then quick it out and go do something else. If you have a full-time job, if you have kids and have to take them to school, if you have something else you have to do, you can get on with it. Trade in the morning, be done, you know, go golfing if you're retired, okay, if you're just trading, if that's all you're doing. You have plenty of time left in the day to do whatever you want to do. Like I'm doing this webinar here. You know, I do lectures, I'm on TV in the afternoon. So it's nice to have that extra time and know that you have the money booked early. So it really doesn't take that much time per day to trade gaps because we're looking to get in and out quickly in the morning. And I find that that is the best time of the day to trade what? Momentum. What am I looking to trade? Momentum. What is momentum? It's a big move. As an individual trader, how are you gonna make money in the market? You're gonna make money in the market by trading a big move in the right direction. Otherwise, you have to take an, an inexorbitant amount of risk, too much risk, crazy risk, I would say, in order to make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, because, and that's too risky, meaning that if the trade loses, then you can have a big loss. The ideal, the objective is to take, say, a thousand shares of something, short it, if you short it at the right place, it drops a dollar, you can make $5,000 if it drops five bucks. That's momentum. $5 move to the downside is momentum, okay? Does everyone see this chart here? It's Twitter. Now, <clears throat> first I'm gonna tell you what a gap is for those of you that don't know. It's a daily chart. Can everybody see it? Make sure I'm not talking to myself here. Can you hear me, Kathy? I don't see any typing yet in the room. Anyways, this closed here, this gapped up. This closed here the night before around four o'clock, around 50 some dollars, gapped up here in the morning, opened around what? 66 something and change. So this is a gap. This is a bullish gap. What is a gap? It's the difference between the close and the open. Closed here at one price, open at a different price. What about over here? This closed here, this gap down. What is this? This is again, four o'clock and it closes at around 52, opens the next day at what? Around 48. So this is a gap down, this is a gap up, okay? So I look for gaps, find them. Here's one right in here, which I found. This was Twitter last week. And I rate the gap in the pre-market using my golden gap rating system to determine is Twitter gonna fall, is Twitter gonna rally? Is Twitter gonna sell off or is Twitter gonna get bought? So what is it exactly that I do? I predict the directional bias that a stock is going to go after it gaps. That is what I do in a nutshell. <laughs> it's called price forecasting. It's technical analysis, but in a very advanced way, because I'm not like looking at moving averages and volume and stuff like that. I'm looking at the gap, the gap itself, and then I'm predicting where it's gonna go before it does it. 
<coughs> excuse me, like I said earlier, I'll get up like, well, I get up at or very early, but I'll sit at my desk, maybe 8 a.m. Sit at my desk at 8 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll rate my gaps. Actually, here, let me pull up the market quick. Hold on. Let me just pull up the market. <coughs> Can everyone see uh, the chart now? So the market's probably going to get gap up tomorrow. In fact, I'd be surprised if we don't. Either way, can everybody see it? So we're probably going to gap up tomorrow. We'll either be neutral rally or we'll gap up and rally. We could even gap over the highs tomorrow. So the market's going to rally tomorrow no matter what it does. Up, down, sideways, neutral, market's going to rally tomorrow. How do I know that? Because I this is what I do. In a nutshell, this is what I do. I predict where somebody's gonna go, market included, because it trades so I can read it and I can read the gaps of the market. I predict where it's gonna go based on the gap. So this morning we got out, we didn't do anything. Why? Market was down, couldn't short it. I said, this isn't a good short. I said, market's gonna hold today. I was right, it did. So I look at something, rate the gaps in the morning, decide what I wanna trade based on the rating and then predict where it's gonna go. Now, I did not go long this, okay, simply because I don't do the reverse. And it was a sloppy setup today to go long the market, but we're absolutely higher. So we're gonna be higher tomorrow. Just letting you know. <laughs> and uh, let's get back to the Twitter. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how I'm figuring this out. Like, how do I even know this? Like, how could I even tell you what I just told you right now about the market tomorrow? I'm telling you the market's going to rally tomorrow. How do I know? Because I read the power money. That's what I'm reading in the gap. There is only one thing and one thing only that can move the direction of a stock, money. And in the case of the market, it's buying. Not a little bit of money, but a lot of money, or what I call power money. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction. Trends are set and moved by the power money people. Uh, by the way, there's a lot of them in the market. Hedge funds, big professional traders, banks, you name it. The amazing thing is that as negative as traders and analysts are about the power money people, they're the reason that one individual can be successful in the market. How can one individual be successful in the market? Because you don't have to have billions of dollars in order to trade. You can trade on margin. You could trade options with no margin as a cash account, as little as $2,000, and you can ride the coattails of the power money people who are moving stocks. I have this GME in here because it's been so widely talked about. And again, I predicted this too. What did I predict would happen with this? It would tank, tank, fall. In fact, I said it on that Ameritrade clip, actually. The next day it tanked. That was the first. I was on Ameritrade February 1st. I said, the stock's gonna fall, it fell the next day. Gap down the next morning. Now, I didn't know it, was, know it was gonna do it the next day immediately, but I knew it was gonna fall. It will never go back to $500. It will never go back to 1,000. It never went to 1,000, but that's where all these people think it's going. It will never go to 1,000. It will never go back to 500. In fact, it actually didn't even get to 500 on the daily, and people are in this, and they're long, and they're, it's never gonna go anywhere, and it probably doesn't even get to 400 where some people bought it. So, how do I know that? Because institutional money isn't buying this stock. Actually, they never bought it. They were short it. The Reddit traders plowed through it, made a boop up. Some people got out, made a lot of money, but a lot of people didn't. The stock is lower. In fact, it looks dead if you look at it trading on the live day. I mean, it actually looks like it's dead. It hardly even moves. Power money people control stocks and control the market. You need to know how to read them. And if you do, you can make money. You just ride along the coattails of them. And complaining about them and saying, oh, the hedge funds and blah, blah, blah. Hey, listen, this is what it is. Learn what it is. Be smart about it. Use it to your advantage. Trade with those people. So you can very easily make money, again, without millions of dollars. And celebrate the existence of the power of money people. Okay? Because it makes it possible for you as one individual to make money. Without them, it would be nearly impossible to make money at all in the market. Why? Because things wouldn't move. How do you think stocks move? How do you think the market's gonna make a new high again? <laughs> I mean, it's getting bought. And that's not cheap either. 
it would be very difficult to tell what's going on if you didn't have the power of money. There would be no real momentum in the market without them. Just like you see in GME now, it is dead, 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 has no momentum. Why? No institutional money is in there. No power money is in that stock at all. The entire mass of power money that exists is what makes trading success possible for me and you. This is why it is vital to get the trend right to be in the side of strength and power. Okay. Any questions here so far? <clears throat> the power money sets the trend and changes the trend when it chooses to. If you follow the power money, you will have higher odds of being successful in your trades. If you follow the trend, you will have higher odds of making money. So obviously you want to make money, right? In today's electronic trading world, charts are an indispensable tool that traders need in order to make decisions about stocks. That's how I make all my decisions. Again, it's based on technical analysis. I'm a chartist. I read charts, but I don't just look at it and say, oh, boom, there's the moving average. I read the chart and tell you just like I pulled up the chart of the spy and I said, we're higher tomorrow. That's my read on it. I'm a chartist, okay? Charts help traders read the price of a stock to determine the trend and then where it's going to go further. Next day, next second, next hour, next morning. Any trader that desires success in the market will be required to master the reading of charts. Many people trade, they think they know how to read charts, they don't. But you do have to understand how to read it because it will help you make money. And this is very nuts and bolts, meat and potatoes of getting down to the nitty gritty of trading. Reading charts helps you do price forecasting. And what I found is a lot of people do not understand that and they put all these indicators you know, on their charts so they don't have to think, don't have to do the work. In fact, Kathy, are you there? Kathy was joking because Kathy was telling me something about a system or a thing. I said, Kathy, <laughs> Kathy was like, I said, Kathy, people that come to me and learn my system have to use their brain. And I said, Kathy, by the way, if you want to, you know, be successful making money trading, you have to use your brain. <laughs> you have to use your mind. This idea of buying a mechanical system that you press a button and takes all your trades and gets out of your trades or you put a special indicator on and it knows exactly what to do all the time is completely insane and totally ridiculous and doesn't work. You have to use your mind. It's a skill. Chart reading is a skill. It was a skill for me today to read that the market was down and was gonna rally. It was a skill. So you have to learn how to do it. It doesn't take forever. And this isn't rocket science and this isn't brain surgery. You can learn how to do it, okay? It's not impossible. Now, what did I forecast would happen in Twitter? Well, the day the Twitter got up, I said it's going to go to 70. It almost got there on the day, and it broke out on Friday. And then when it did that, I said it was going to go to 72, and then I said it was going to make a new high, and it made a new high yesterday. So we did a couple trades in Twitter. We'll go over some of them today. So my price forecasting on this day when Twitter did the gap was that this would continue higher, and it did. One, two, three, four, okay? A beautiful four-day rally, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and this is Tuesday because the market was closed on Monday. Any questions here so far? So let's talk about what is price forecasting. It's saying that this is going to go here. What do I mean? It means if I tell you that something's going to go up, you could go long before it goes up, and guess what? You'll make money. If I tell you something's going to go down, a stock is going to drop, you can short it, and guess what? Then you can make money. So actually, price forecasting is very exciting, and it's very, very profitable. But I do it all within the gap and all within a set time of the day because it's so much easier to predict what's going to happen in a short period of time, in a quick period of time, the next second, the next minute, the next hour than it is days and days from now. What do I mean? Well, it's 4.55. If I asked you, where, what are you going to be doing at 6 o'clock tonight, a little over an hour from now, you probably could tell me with a high degree of probability. You could probably say, Melissa, I have 100% conviction that at 6 o'clock tonight, I will be drinking a beer and watching my TV show or whatever. Kathy could say at six o'clock tonight, I have to cook dinner for my husband and I'm feeding the cats or whatever. So you pretty much know within an hour from now what you're doing. 
If I said, Kathy, what are you going to be doing Friday at 3.45 in the afternoon? Okay. So that's like two days from now. Kathy, she could tell me what she thinks she might be doing, but she doesn't really know as well as she knows what she's going to be doing in an hour. Okay. So the shorter time frame that you can figure out where somebody's going to go has a higher degree of accuracy than hours and days and weeks and months and years down the line. It's no different than your normal life, okay? But price forecasting in the moment is very, very, very um, profitable if you can do it and then act on it, which is obviously take the trade. So again, what I was just saying here, the shorter the time, the easier it is to predict the place it will go. So again, easy to say, Twitter's gonna go to this number next. Market's gonna go to this number next. I'm just talking about tomorrow and Thursday, Thursday morning. Where's the market gonna go Friday? Well, it'd be easier for me to tell you that after I see how we close Thursday. So you go step by step by step and you trade based on those steps and when you're up in the trade, you take the trade, you make money, you get out, and then you wait till you can see where it's gonna go again, and then you take it and get out and make money again. And you do this over and over and over and over and over again, and that's how you continue to do it, okay? So let's go over the Twitter. This was Friday. I call this 68 calls and Twitter was in the pre-market. This is a Gap Options newsletter. This is a subscription service. And this was 8.15 in the morning. So this was two days after, three days after the earnings. Earnings was Wednesday, this was Friday morning. I knew that Twitter was gonna break out. I called the 68 calls. I called them out to expire this week. Actually, you could have been, still been in them, but I thought it was a good move to get out of it because again, I like the fast trades. So I called it here in the morning on this day and it went doo, and it went up. It was a beautiful move, it was a beautiful breakout move. And again, this continued. You could have stayed in this until this week. But this was a nice trade to take it, a fast trade. Remember, fast is good. And when you're up money, you want to get out. Fast is good. The faster it moves, the, 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 the more definitive movement you say, okay, I can take this money off, then I can use that money to take another trade. Okay, the idea of trading isn't buy and hold, buy and hold. It's take it, book it, take it, book it, take it, book it. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do anyways. Because you're really trying to turn your money around every day. Flip it, flip it, flip it, okay? Now, I'm showing two risks here, just so everybody can see. Can everybody see the slide? Talking about Twitter. I'm showing an advanced risk and a beginner risk because you don't have to take an advanced risk. An advanced risk is, you know, several thousand dollars a trade. A beginner risk, you could take three contracts. So three contracts of the Twitter Bought it in the morning into the open. You could have paid 260, sold it for 525. A beautiful trade. It's over 100% return investment. You saw the rally. We'll go back to look at the daily. Nice trade in and out. This is an option. You do not need a margin account for this. You could have done this as a cash account. The most you would have lost if this trade failed was $780 if it took three contracts. And an advanced risk was 30 contracts, 7,800. Again, a beautiful trade, 102% return investment. This is taking out taking it, getting out the same day. And this is fast for an option too. Now again, the morning trades and the day trades, I get in and out quickly. But for an option, this is really fast, to be honest with you. Here we go, back to the daily. Does everyone see the Twitter? In, rally up, boom. Okay. Any questions here on this? So that was what? A fast option based on momentum, based on the gap, you're in out, boom, okay? I predicted where it would go when? When I sent this trade out here at 8.15 in the morning, an hour before the market even opened. There it goes. So it was a fast train, which I love. Then we did on that day, we did a day trade. Now. Actually, this risk amount is wrong here, just so you know. I just noticed this here, my assistant made a mistake. This is not 500 shares of this, is not a $2,500 risk. It'd be $250, I think. Let me figure that out. Yeah, 50 cents times 500 is, two, two, is 250. Um, anyways, over here, if you took an advanced risk, 
was the entry long. Stop was 69.30. Twitter, 5,000 shares was a $2,500 risk. I'll show you the one minute chart where we did it in a minute. We exited in it again, 72 I said it would get to. It actually continued past this, which I'll show you. This was a huge trade, why? Beautiful entry, risk to reward, 50 cent risk. You could have made $11,500. Now this over here, this is an incorrect risk, but if you risk 500 shares, it was 250 bucks and you could have made 1150 bucks. Now let's go back. This was this day, there, right there. We waited to get in and I'll show you the one minute in a minute. Took it up. You can see here where this went. In fact, I think it went to 73 something. Um, yeah, it did here. You can see it. We did a fast morning trade, which I like to do. Again, I call these trades live in the room, but you can see here this rallied up around lunch to 73 and change. It's a nice move. Anyways, we got in it right in here, snug as a bug in the morning. Took it up, boop, out. Take it out, take it out, in, out, fast. 30 minutes, out, boom, done. But if you held it, you actually could have made more money. So you can do these trades as options. You can do these trades as day trades. It's the same philosophy as far as the momentum and the gap. I rate the gap in the morning. That's what I do. I predict Twitter's higher. What are you going to do with it? Buy it. You can buy it however you want. You could buy it as an equity trade. You could buy it as a swing trade. Continued this week, you could have bought it as an option, as a call. That's what I do. It really depends on how you want to do it. Oh, here's the daily again. <laughs> Any questions here so far? On this okay I'm gonna keep talking with no questions so getting back to what I was saying earlier you have all these different people in the market everyone wants to win but not everyone will it's just an impossibility every time you make money you're taking money from somebody else hate to tell you but you are you're not creating anything you're not you know knitting a scarves I mean, you're not making anything in a factory. You're not doing anything at all, but being smarter than the other person and taking their money, which very often I am, okay? Now, this doesn't mean that I always win. Sometimes I lose, but I win far more than I ever lose. So very often I have an edge over the other person who's trying to take the bag of money. You want the bag of money. Sometimes it's medium, sometimes it's small, sometimes it's large. You never know in any given day. As you're in the room with me, if you're in the room with me, like I saw with the Twitter, I can tell because I'm so good at reading chart and price action here, if this is gonna go really, 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 really big, or if it's just gonna go a little bit. And we talk about that in the room when I give the targets. But you have to be smart about the trades that you take. Like today, <laughs> Twitter had a little red bar. People are short that which is completely insane. People are short Twitter now because it ran up and made a double top and ran up and people think it's extended, they're short it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that makes a new high tomorrow just because of the fact that day traders are or retail traders are short it. It's so, 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 so silly, just like the GME. You have to be smart about the trades you take. You have to look for institutional money. You have to read it correctly. You have to read it right. You have to play with it. Fighting it isn't gonna get you anywhere at all. Know what the system is, work within the confines of the system of what the market is and what trading is. And that will help you make money, that will help you be successful. And again, that, that will give you an edge, but it gives me an edge. Okay, understanding that gives me an edge. Preparing what I wanna do in the pre-market gives me an edge. Um, you know, following institutional money gives me an edge. Looking at gaps correctly gives me an edge because a lot of people don't read gaps and if they do, they don't understand them or they do them wrong. And they don't even, they don't even look at them. And they don't even understand what they mean or the significance of them, okay? And Twitter's a good example too because Twitter is not extended. And many people say, oh, this is like 17 days up and rallied straight up and it's almost vertical and it's extended. No, no, it's not, okay? You have to learn how to predict the next thing that's gonna happen and this is what I do and I teach people in a class. In my class, I teach the 26 point rating system. It's a checklist. I just did a class this past weekend <laughs> and I have another class in two weeks, February 27th and 28th. So you would learn in the class, the checklist, how I figure out these things, 
okay? How do I know where something's going to go? I rate it in the morning in the pre-market. And again, you could do the trades as day trades or options. And both of them you could do fast. But I go through the 26-point checklist, and that helps me determine where it's going to go. It has to rate per the checklist. Now, this was another one we did save. This was a short. Again, this is the daily. It was last week. Closed here, gap down. It was on earnings. Open, rally, boom. We shorted it. Got the drop. This was another great trade, beautiful trade. It was on the 11th, that was Thursday. We shorted it here, 30.55. An advanced risk was 5,000 shares. You could take less, take 1,000 if you want. This was a really good entry too though. Then we did an ad. So then I cost averaged myself a little bit down. I pulled my price down because I knew it was gonna go and I wanted to whop on more size. So you, what if you took half this size, okay? This was a huge trade, why? Baby stop. Plopped on the size with the ad, not that expensive a stock. I don't think $30 a share is that expensive. And we got a buck out of it, a little bit more. Profit was 9,600. So this was a really big move. If you took half this size, initially 2,500 and added and had five, you could have made over four grand. Or even if you took a quarter of this size, you could have made two grand. Here's the one minute chart, here's the move. Here's where we shorted it in here. And again, in this case here, if the stock closed here, gap down, we're looking to short it. Okay, this was the same. Over here was the daily. So this is the daily. Now we're in the one minute. I take my trades in the one minute. And again, I take it, put the stop in, boom, get the drop. We did not do an option in this. I don't always do an option in everything I do a day trade in. It was a beautiful day trade though. Fast trade, thousands of dollars in a very short period of time. You can't, you can't earn that if you, if you put your money in a five-year CD, which is not a fast time, five years is a long time. If you put your money in a six-month CD, they even have six-month CDs anymore, three months, 90 days. I mean, you just, you cannot turn your money over like this really anywhere other than the market. Why do you think the market's rallying? Why do you think the market's rallying? We have COVID, deaths are up. COVID, cases are up. Year of COVID, businesses shut down, economy shut down, Texas is freezing. They don't have any electricity there. New York City, which is responsible for 10% of the GDP in the whole country, is basically closed for almost a year. Real estate market here is tanking. Commercial buildings here are tanking. Real estate's just tanking here in the city. Why is the market rallying? Why every time you get a new unemployment number and it's 700, 800,000, a million, why does the market rally? Why does the market make new highs? Because people have money and they want to invest in and they're putting in the market. I don't look at fundamentals. They don't add up. I mean, you can't deny they don't add up. Things do not add up. So the reality is reading price action is the way that you can make money, predicting it too. One, I don't have time to look at fundamentals. I'd never have time to read every earnings report. I my, my God, I, by the time I'd read it, the market would be closed. And two, okay, they do not add up. You have to do what counts. And it's just seeing where it's gonna go and getting the move. And when you take a fast trade, it's like, it keeps you safe. Because you can take it and you can book it fast and then you do not have to worry about what's gonna happen tomorrow what's going to happen overseas what's going to happen with covid okay what's going to happen with the market if you're up right away and in not money in the trade just book it get out be done with it i mean that's why i think it's also very advantageous any questions here so far from anyone any comments all right let's look at another one this was another nice gapper. This was here, closed here, gap down, it was IBM. Closed up here, 130, 125, boom. Open in the morning down here around 121-ish. And then it fell, fell all the way down here. And it was a nice short. It was a short that you could have done as a day trade and a put, and we did both. So this was a quick one here. Entered it, 120.05, boom, exited it, 117.80. It was a fast trade, quick, in the morning, done, out. And you could have made $5,600.
With a $2,500 risk, what if you had $250? 500 bucks? What's wrong with 500 bucks? $500 a day is what? More than most people are making in the market when they're losing. It's 2,500 bucks a week, which equates to 10 grand a month, four weeks in a month, and that is a lot of money. But again, you know, you can risk more if you can afford it and if you know what to do. Now, here's what we did. Stock closed here, gap down. This is a one minute, January 22nd. We shorted it, got the drop, boom, done, out. Out before 10 o'clock Eastern time. Go about your business, go about your day. That's it. Two people are typing and it's stuck. Joel is typing stuck. Buckeye's typing stuck. I don't know, Kathy, if you can help them. I can't see your questions. How much money? Let's talk about it. You want to talk about margin? Fine. First of all, if you don't have a margin account, you do it as an option. That's number one. Number two, if you have margin, you can open up a retail account where you need four to one margin, or you can open up a prop account where you get 10 to one margin. So let's just let's just use the prop example to be to go easy. If you want to take a thousand shares of $120 stock, you need how much money with a 10 to one prop account? You would need $12,000. And I'm just, you know, rough roughing it out here. That would have got you it. In a retail account, you can't even open a retail account with less than 25,000 because that's the requirements for margin at a place like Ameritrade, E-Trade, and in this place is, and then you would have four to one, which would get you 100,000. So you wouldn't be able to take a thousand shares exactly of IBM with 100,000 margin. You would have needed slightly more, but you could go to a prop place, okay? So, for example, if you're at a plot price and you wanted to take 2,500, yeah, times it by two, two and a half. That's what you'd need. But as I just showed you here, what if you don't have $12,000 to put in a prop account? Then you don't put it. You put in what you can take. So you can take 250 shares of something and make $562. You don't have to take 2,500 shares of IBM. I've been doing this since 2008, okay? No one has to be taking the kind of size that I'm taking. In fact, no one really should because I created the system. I know it better than anyone that exists that's alive on the planet because I developed it myself and I've been doing it the longest. Plus, I teach the class every month. Start out with $250 or 250 shares. Start out with 250, then bump it up to 500, then bump it up to 750 shares, then bump it up to 1,000. Start out slow, build it up. That is what everyone should be doing. At least till you get good at the system and at least till you build your account up, okay? But I am showing these risks because I want people to see the potential of how much money they can make when they can risk it. And quite frankly, there are people with me that are risking this much. There are, okay? So I have people with me for a long time. I mean, I have some people with me for over seven years in the trading room and, 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 and even on the options newsletter. They're making a lot of money with me. And yes, they're taking size. So, but by no means do you have to take an advance risk. Is that clear, Joel? And if you want information about a prop account, email me and I can refer you to one. I know everybody likes the big numbers, but you know, put it into perspective a little bit. Again, going back to what can you do with your money, stick it in a bank and turn it into 0.000001% in a savings account, or take, you know, take the money that you have in a small account and make $500 a day, well, that's still great. No, it's not 5,000, but hey, you'll get there. Remember, it's only February, people. You got the whole year. Maybe if you start out with the beginner risk by the end of the year, you'll have enough money in your account if you leave the profits in and build it up to be able to risk this much by the end of 2021. Look at it in the bigger picture. Everyone's so short, short sighted. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's clear as a bell. All right. I'm looking at apartments right now. I've been looking at apartments since, since last year because obviously the real estate market in New York is tanked and 
So I've been looking at apartments. I mean, I'm looking at apartments in a building that, and this is a true story, and I don't want to get too 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 off of this, but I'll, I'll I should write this story up and put it in an email because it is it is a great story. But I will I will share this with you here quickly. Just talking about long term. First of all, I'm the most impatient person you could have ever met. Me. That's one of the reasons why day trading is good for me because I do like to get in and out trades fast. Like that's just my personality. I'm extremely impatient. Yeah, Kathy's gonna write something. Ask. I, I call Kathy and then I call her, call her, text her. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. Kathy knows that I'm impatient. I want an answer now. Get back to me. So I'm an impatient person. But I will tell you, as I've matured, okay, as the years have gone by, and Kathy will verify this too, I've eased up a little bit. I'm seeing the bigger picture myself. I've eased up on myself a little bit. I've become more patient. Okay, and so it's actually helped me develop as, as a trader too, okay. And like I've been looking at apartments in a building that, you know, that I, that I wanted to live in, gosh, I mean, 2006, 2006 is 15 years ago. Holy crap, is that right? Yeah, that is right. 2006 is 15 years ago. If someone told you, you know, in 15 years from now, you could have everything that you want, you know, like, would you, would you do everything that you needed to do to get there? But of course, that's not how life works. Like, and it didn't work that way for me. Like all along the way, when I made choices and, and lived my life and was losing trading at the beginning and didn't know what to do and went through the rough times and figured this out, it took me three years to figure out my system. Like I didn't know. I didn't know what was going to happen in the future. There were no guarantees. People will only ask me, you want a guarantee? I'll give you a guarantee. If you quit, you will not make it. There's your guarantee. That's right there. Well, I will guarantee you right now. You know what? I didn't quit. I didn't quit. So I made it. So 15 years. It took me to live in, you know, the building apartment of my dreams. I mean, and, and have a have a fabulous career. It is what it is. You know, I mean, so many people want to be millionaires tomorrow. You know, that's really not realistic. OK, but is it realistic for you to have that kind of life and make that kind of money in 10 years? Sure, sure it is. So I think you you need to kind of look at it as a bigger picture. And I get some people are in their 20s, some are in their 30s, some are in their 40s, some are in their 50s, and some people are in their 70s, and they're like, you know, they want everything today, but I do think you have to be a little patient. I've learned to become more patient myself as I've matured, and I think that, you know, I'm speaking from experience here because, again, I'm a very impatient person. No, I'm, I'm, I'm my own realtor. I'm the best negotiator for myself, but thank you, Kathy. No, I'm sticking it out in New York. I guess I'm a New Yorker now. In fact, I should write an article about New York one year later. I, I should do that and see if I can get it published, actually. All the news networks I'm on, really. All right, let's get back to the class here. The Golden Gap Q come. We did the QCOM too. QCOM was a couple of weeks ago. Closed here, gap down, open drop, boom. There it was, February 4th. Entry was 148.65, 1,000 shares. Again, Joel's been asking, this isn't a cheap one. Some stocks are expensive, some are cheap. Exit 146.80, this is a good trade. We had a, we had a big stop in this, 18.50. Now let's take a look at that one minute. Closed here, gap down, open, rallied, boom, short it, get the drop. Again, in out in the morning, done. Done for the day, go about your business, do whatever you wanna do. Take a walk in Central Park. Fast trade done in the AM, boom, out. And then we did what? We did an option in this too, because again, if you don't wanna do the day trade, if you don't want to worry about margin, Joel's worried about margin, hey, open up an options account. $2,000 gets you an options account. You can put it in 5,000 if you want, 
All you will risk is the amount in the particular trade of the cost of the position, which in this case here was $3.80. $3.80. Now I have the advance risk in here, so it was a higher one, but look where it went, six bucks. So you could have bought two, you could have bought one. You could have spent $380 and you could have gotten one contract and you would have made money. Now, while this wasn't 100% flip, it was pretty close to it. Okay, you didn't make exactly 3.80, but you certainly made more than 50% return in investment. And it was a nice trade, fast, fast that you got in and out very quickly. Okay. What are you saying, Kathy? You've seen me become more patient? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving me that credit. And I will take it. <laughs> because I do believe that I actually, I'm, I'm very self-aware. I mean, I live alone and you know, when you live alone, I'm very intuitive, I'm very self-aware. I know, I know my strengths and weaknesses and I know that, that impatience has been one of them and I do believe that I have made improvements with that. You know what else I have? I've been, I used to be late all the time for everything. Now I try, I'm early. I'm early for everything all the time. I used to be late, like when I'd have to get ready to go out or meet friends or a family function, I'd always be doing my hair and makeup. I'd always be late. Now I plan accordingly and I'm always early and my family still makes fun of me like, Melissa's gonna be late and I'm always early now. And they still think about the me I was, you know, 20 years ago. That's something I've improved upon too because I found that being late is stressful. But it's funny, when I was younger, I didn't, I didn't bother me. <laughs> Anyways, trading isn't gambling. It's not. And that is why you need a system. People gambled in that GME. Some made out in the gamble. Like some people do when they, when you, people go to a casino, some people make money in casinos. But guess what? More people lose than make money and more people will lose in GME than make money. So having the system is not gambling. The Golden Gap system pinpoints institutional money in the market. That's what you wanna focus on. And institutional money is in control. It's in control at all times. All times, even when you think it's not, it is. Like the market gap down this morning, made a little sell off, bounced, got bought. Why? The bulls are in control. The bulls are in control. Even if you think they're not, they are. And I said that this morning in the room. I said, even if you think it, even if you don't believe me, trust me. And obviously now everyone sees that I was right. In fact, I should do a, a video tonight in the market and send it to all the students because people are probably like, oh my God, it's we're gonna sell off. No, we didn't. It's in control. Even when you think that that's not, it is. Actually, this is a chart from, uh, this isn't a current chart. This is back from January. But you can still see the bullishness in the market here. Dropped off, got bought, dropped off, got bought, dropped off, got bought. Market keeps making new highs. And again, the fundamentals don't match up with it. I'm not saying last forever. I'm not saying we're never gonna short this market again. I'd love to short this market. I'd love to get up tomorrow morning and short it. But I don't think it sets up that way. Like I said, I think we're higher, but I will get it when it does set up that way. The nice thing about trading is work for yourself. Work for yourself from home. Make extra money from home, even if it's not your full-time job, even if it's a part-time job, you can do it on the side. The Anything you can do to gain some independence now, my God, the way the governments are trying to, I mean, even the whole thing with the electricity, and again, you know, God help those people in Texas. I mean, it feels like everyone is just like, has no control over their lives anymore. Like, you gotta take back some control of your own life a little bit. Gain that independence, working for yourself even if it's part-time. People gotta gain some more independence and self-confidence here and take control for themselves. I mean, it, seriously, how is the people gonna move forward? You cannot rely on the government. You cannot rely on other people. You have to be self-sufficient. It's just the only way, okay? It's the way you're gonna get ahead anyways. Any comments, any questions here? Kathy, we might go over a little bit. If you have to go, I'll just close out the room. Anyways, it's making good choices. That's what's really, really important. So if you wanna do this for a living, you have to make good choices. What does that mean? It means having a plan of action, having a good system, taking quality entries, I'm calling them in the room, do not over train. Don't trade all day. Do the fast trade in the morning, get out. 
If you make money, don't trade, 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 trade. If you book that money in the morning, leave it, okay? You make your goal in the morning, be done. Otherwise, you can give it back. And don't be piggish about targets if your goal is in for the day. And then really chunk it out. I think it's very, very important to look at it in the bigger picture, like I just said. Look at it in the long range. Yes, you may want to take 2,500 shares of something right now, but that if it's too much for your account size, like you can't risk your whole account in one trade. So then you say, okay, let me be realistic. If I do this, 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 you know, by June 1st, I'll be out this much money and then I can up my risk. And then by, you know, September 1st or whatever. I think it's a good idea to look at it in quarterly, quarterly aspects. There's four quarters in the year to up your risk. Personally, that's what I think is a good, <laughs> a good guide for people. So how much does it take to achieve your goals? Break it down. Again, if you're looking to make $500 a day, 50 cents of a thousand, or so on and so forth. You wanna make a dollar, wanna make a thousand, take a thousand shares, look for a buck, okay? Think of it like that. Now, I do use stops. I call the stops in the room. That is my money management so the trades don't get too far away from me. And I also use my own system. I don't wing it. I haven't winged it ever. So I do all the work. You know, I do the work early in the morning, and that's the benefit of being in the room with me because I'm really doing the work for you. Even though you take the class, you learn the system, you should be doing the work too. But everything that I'm figuring out is following the footprints of institutional money. I'm looking at the gap, I'm rating the gap, I'm seeing the buying or selling is going to come in. And I'm trying to get that fast move in the morning. Whether it's an option, whether it's a day trade, whether it's both, that's what I'm looking to do. And again, the sooner I can get in, the sooner I can get out, the safer really my money is. And I don't have to worry about the wiggles and jiggles of the market. It's really about quality. Not like trading, trading, trading till all day till four o'clock, okay? And that's why when you take something and you're up and you book it, you just stop, okay? Like I probably could have done something else on Friday, but Twitter worked. So we got out. Any questions here so far? Anyways, these are just, you know, points of interest that I think are just common sense. You need to make more money on your winning trades than you lose on your losing trades. That's common sense. And you also need to have more winning trades and losing trades, common sense. So that means you need to be right a lot. Also, you need to limit your losses. Using stop limits helps you limit your losses. Also, taking less trades per day limits your losses. It's just common sense. And don't trade when nothing meets your criteria. We didn't trade today. There wasn't any good gaps today. I'm always looking for that move, that fast move right out of the gate. It's very important. If I get it, I do it, and I hit it right away. The, the, the whole thing that I do, everything is based on what? Like I said earlier, technical analysis. I'm looking for moves in the gap based on technical analysis. Again, what is technical analysis? Technical analysis is analysis of past price changes in the hope of forecasting future price changes. That is what I do. I am forecasting the future price of a stock or the market. And based on that and a high percentage of win ratio, I am then risking money. And I, and I say high odds, which is the rating system. So the 26 points, if it rates 20 points or more, I say that's high odds. If it rates under 20 points, I say not good enough odds. Not good enough odds for me to risk money. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's really technical analysis in gaps. This is a very new way of thinking. This is me. I get up every morning and I put my special glasses on and I look in depthly at the market and I predict where it's gonna go with my special glasses. The special glasses show me what's gonna happen in the future. Almost, you know, almost you could say like a psychic, but I'm really just looking at everything that anybody else could see, which is in the daily chart. The only difference is you don't know what I'm looking at unless you take my Golden Gap course. But if you do, you learn what I'm looking at through the special glasses. And then you get up every morning, and this is you then. You put your special glasses on just like me, and you look at the market in a very unique way when you look at the daily chart and the gap, and then you too can predict where it's going to go as well. And it is a skill. 
It is a skill. It's a skill that you will learn and you get better over time, just like me. Whether it takes five months, five years, or 15 years, you get better over time. I don't do anything else, and I'll never do anything else because I don't need to. The longer you do one thing, the better you get. People that trade jump around far too often. They never even get the special glasses because they're doing too many different things, and they're all muddled. And when they look at a chart or they look at something, it's like a big mush ball and they don't know what they're supposed to be focusing on any day. Like you could have looked at the market today, gone long, gone short, gone long, gone short, and basically lost, okay? I said what was gonna happen, we didn't do it. I knew it wasn't a good setup. I might go long tomorrow if we're up, which I think we're gonna be. What market profile? I don't know what you mean. I don't get your question, Seth. You lost me. What does it take to do this? You need a daily chart. You need a one minute chart. You would need to take my class to learn the system. You can join the live trading room after the class then, I'm calling the trains, or you can just join the options newsletter and get the options trades, they get emailed to you. But you get fast trades, so you need to be available in the morning in the Eastern time zone between 9.30 and 10. It is a system you can use to trade the market for swing trades, day trades, options trades, long-term investments, whatever you wanna do, because it's all based on gaps. And really, it's looking at the directional bias, and the fact that I'm looking at the gap is really what gives me an edge. I don't know what you're talking about at all. So, since I don't know what you're talking about, I obviously don't use it. <laughs> Hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> Seth is asking me something, and I'm like, are you talking a different language? What are gaps? We're referring to an event that happens every morning in the market. Stocks that are closed overnight often have news come out when the market is closed. They are not trading. The next morning when the market opens, these stocks often open at a price that is way above or below where they closed the night before, just like the market. Market gaps almost every day. When I say the market, I'm in the SPY, the QQQs, or the diamonds. This means that there is a big move in price without anyone being able to buy or sell. This can create urgent situations for investors and traders. These gaps are best seen on a daily chart. And again, that's what we've been talking about because that's what I'm looking at. And that's where I'm making the prediction, okay? And then the moves happen fast and we take the trains on the one minute because I'm looking to get in and maneuver myself, okay, in minutia time frame to get the fast move and then also be able to take size, put a stop in, okay, as an, as an individual trader not as a long-term value investor or whatever. Okay, we're active traders. So it's a very specialized strategy, but it's the 26 points that you learn from me. That's the meat and potatoes of my system and what I do, and that's what enables me to predict where something's gonna go. You can do this part-time, you can do this full-time, but what makes Gap so profitable is the large move. And obviously they have volume, obviously if they have momentum, the fast moves, though, is what makes it fun because then you don't have to train all day as well. And making a lot of money fast is fun. If you've never done it before, you'll know when you do it. Now, how do I find the gaps and pick, pick which ones to trade? I rate them. So I rate them using the Golden Gap system. The Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade and when. This system is so powerful, it identifies those fast moves that occur the first 30 minutes of the trading day, and long-term moves that can be captured with limited risk options in less than two weeks. Success or failure has everything to do with the quality of our system. People wanna blame themselves and say, oh, I don't have enough money to do this, or oh, if I only had more money, or oh, if I only had more time, or oh, if I only had this, that, and the other thing, no. If you don't have a system that works, you're not gonna make any money, no matter if you have a million dollars or all the hours in the day. It has nothing to do with that. You have to have a winning system. That's point one. Now, if your money management is bad, you have to fix that. I can help you. But to be honest with you, even with crappy money management, you could still make money with a good system. So, you know, ideally you have both, but you're not gonna make any money without a good system no matter what. So the Golden Gap system is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. I have a bullish class too, but I only do that usually once or twice a year. 
The class of February 27th and 28th is the bearish class, and I'm mostly short, although I sometimes do go long, like the Twitter. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. That's the meat and potatoes. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. So the system tells you how to do it, what to do, when to do it, and why, okay? You must have a structure in place. Like I just got done talking to you about moving. I didn't call movers yet. I don't even have a quote. I don't, I'm not organized. I've got to get a plan of action. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to move. Now what? No, I have to get a plan of action. I've got to get moving quotes. Then I got to get the mover's insurance. Then I got to set the date. Then I'm going to pay people to pack me. Then I'm going to pay people to move me. I'm going to pay people to do all the work because I'd never have time to do it myself and, and, and do everything I do now, run the business, trade in the morning. So I have to have a plan of action to do everything for the move. I can't just say, oh, I'm moving tomorrow. No, it doesn't work like that. Anything you do, you have to have a plan of action. Planning it out, okay? And just do it. I mean, this isn't, like I said, this isn't like you're not becoming a brain surgeon. People think too hard about, oh, what should I do? Should I do this? Should I not do this? Listen, if you want to do it, do it. Jump into it. It's a great time to trade with me. It's still the beginning of the year. Don't overthink it. It's, it you know, and, and when you're doing the trades, like I don't overthink my trades either. I rate it, I go with the system. It rates well, we look for the setup, we do it. If it doesn't, we don't. Today we didn't trade, I didn't overthink it. It wasn't there. What am I supposed to do, four cent? It, 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 we didn't do any trades today. I would have loved to trade today. It was not there. You can't force it. You can't make something be there if it's not, okay? Just like you can't make, you can't say, oh, I, I want to make myself have, you know, this 200 grand I need to trade or whatever to take 2,500 shares of all these things Melissa's doing. No, you can't make yourself do it. And if you're waiting until you do, well, you may, you may miss the boat. You may miss it. Miss the opportunity to trade with me. Miss the opportunity to class. You may never be able to save that much money without trading. So, you know, just look at what is reality right now. Get a plan of action for where you are to be successful, to get somewhere today. Because when you're stuck and you're stuck in a rut and you're not taking any action towards the next step in life, how are you going to get anywhere? Okay. It's point A to B to C to D. You got to go up the ladder. And sometimes you got to take 10 steps forward and take two steps back. That's okay. But you're still moving forward. You had eight steps ahead. Doing nothing isn't getting you ahead at all. Losing isn't getting you ahead at all. In fact, you're going back like taking back steps when you're losing, which is not good. So this measures gaps by rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, which is good. Big move of the day, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10. Again, I said that. And precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward, which I'm obviously looking for. So get a plan of action in place. You can take my class. Then you're going to do what? Trade only goal only gaps. Trade only trades that I call in the room. Don't do anything else. Okay? You want a high success rate? You're going to follow the system. Get the best entry you can with precision early in the morning to get good risk to reward trades. One to three R's. Take $1,000, you're trying to make $1,000. You risk $500, you're trying to make $500. Create a money management plan for yourself to achieve your goal, whatever it is whether it's $100 a day or $1,000 a day. Set your goal, do it. Be realistic, stick with it. Be accountable to yourself. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's one strategy. It's all you need to be successful in the market. And again, it's very fast in the morning, right out of the gate, in the first half hour of the day. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people have that and fail all the time. Learn how to read price patterns and gaps and you don't need to do anything else because if your reason for doing this is to make money, this will make you money. I have created some people that have become really good traders. In fact, one of the gentlemen that helps me in the run, Gyro, he was a student of mine. I think 20, 2014, he did the class. Now he helps me run the room, you know, when I'm not there. So you know, he's good, I mean, and I taught him. So learning from someone may cost you money up front but really, it saves you money in the end because you will lose money in the market if you don't know what to do. So can you earn a living trading? Is it realistic? Yes. But you have to have a plan of action. 
just like me getting to my dream apartment. You have to have a plan of action. You have to know what that is. And again, success or failure, it's just, it's just about your system. And more than that, really, it's even about your attitude. If your mental state is you're so down in the dumps and negative about trading in the market and thinking that all these hedge funds and everything are against you, it's really going to play a factor in your ability to be able to be successful. You need to think like a, a wealthy person. You need to think like a smart person. You need, to, you need to get into that mindset where things are working and you believe that you can do it and you need to feel confident. Don't think like a loser. Losers lose. Think like a confident, successful person and you will win. And confidence builds over time. And then your account will build over time too. And again, I talked about this earlier about personal freedom. Man, is there not a better time than now for people to just really capture what that feels like and start to build this structure of their lives where they have more personal freedom because I think it is imperative. I think if people don't, they're gonna just go back. Like the people are almost reverting People are almost reverting in these times of COVID. And COVID, I, I mean, I, you know, it hit the world out of nowhere, and I get it. But now that we're one year into this, I mean, my God, people need to start taking charge of their lives. So here is the dates for the next class. Not this weekend, but the following weekend. 27 to 28th, 9 to 5. Cost of the class is $69.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Now, I'm also doing a trends course, which is March 2nd. The combo is only $500 more. You get the long-term trends class and the Golden Gap course. This is a great price for $74.99. I'm running a President's Day sale, which is actually tomorrow, um, through Friday, okay? Sign up for the Golden Gap course by Friday the 19th, and you get the trading room free till Memorial Day. This is a nice deal. So you get all the trades free until the end of May. Great deal. And again, the class is online that week at 9 to 5 Eastern Time. This is a nice email I got from Kimberly. She's in the room and doing the options. But I want to read this part here because this was so sweet that she wrote this. I want to thank you for sharing your knowledge with us newbies. Besides making money, being part of your room has had other upsides for me. I know everyone has felt out of sorts with all the lockdowns and life has become inherently different for all of us. Having your room to join every morning has added a sense of stability and consistency, which is definitely needed these days. It is nice being part of a community again. So thanks for doing that. I try to, you know, we, we trade in the morning and then after I'm done trading, then we go over the trades and I teach. And, you know, and I, and I try to do whether it's a, a motivational lesson or a chart lesson or something in the room. And I do think structure is important. Um, it's important for me. Like I said, I'm very structured. I get up a certain time. I exercise every single day. You know, I'm structured with my trading and I do think all that counts. But this was a super nice email. So I put it in here because she's right. People are locked in their houses and they're not seeing people. And, and I mean, I've seen like one of my friends in New York through this whole time. But I mean, people just really aren't going out and about like they used to. Any questions from anyone at all? Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you'd like to come to the open house Thursday and Friday. Does anyone else have any questions about margin or accounts or anything? Any questions about gaps or the Golden Gap course? Sorry we went a little over, Kathy, but thank you for letting me stay and continue. About 15 minutes over. I don't know what we get tomorrow. We'll see what we get. Again, I don't know till I get up in the morning. But, you know, I'm sure we're going to get something. We didn't get anything today, so we'll probably get something tomorrow. Very good. Seth, if you have questions, email me. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Stay safe, everybody. And I will see you soon.